welcome back to our channel. Wait, <laughs> why did I say that? I really blue trying to say that. Okay, can we do it? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Long time no see. I know. It's been a long time since we filmed. It's been a very busy life. <laughs> day. I don't know. It's been, not we, but life. It's been kind of kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Did you guys miss us? Because I missed us. I catch myself going back to our videos and watching them at night and I'm like Same! I crack up at the shit we say I watch our own videos <laughs> I watch them all the time I'm just like damn what are these bitches uploading again? <laughs> I'm like notifications on <laughs> For real So we are back at it again And then we are going to start uploading weekly again Yeah it's been a crazy, crazy, what, a week and a half. Mm -hmm. And then this is why we're filming this video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna spill some tea today, maybe. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name's Alondra. And I'm Elsie. And we film weekly videos. So if you guys wanna keep up with us, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button to be notified every time we upload a new video. And we also give away $100 every single week. So if you guys want to enter this $100 giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and turn on your post notifications. Oh, then, yeah. Then comment when done. Okay. Comment when done. Mm -hmm. So for today's video, we are going to do a get ready with me slash telling you guys how my birthday party went. <laughs> Yeah, we have an event to go to tonight, yes. so why not film? And then it's perfect day because it's Wednesday. Wednesday's when we film, so why not film and get ready with me? Update you guys on life, on everything, and then give you guys a little cheese man because we know you guys love that shit. I know what cheese muscles. And yeah, so we're just gonna be doing our makeup. So before we do our makeup, we usually wash our face with our NXN face wash. We use the Fresh Tart. Fresh, that's not funny. <laughs> we use uh, the Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser, so we already wash our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize with the NXN Balance Beam Oil Control Moisturizer. I already moisturized with Best Day Moisturizer. Yes. It feels amazing. And Elsie already primed as well. Oh yeah. So I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> I used their Flash Matte Perfecting Primer. Okay, yeah, well, it looks like a little dildo, huh? <laughs> this is their new packaging by the way it's so cute by the way i have my towel on because my hair is super wet mm. and i just feel like i look like a little wet dog i don't know i just i know i feel I like, like a chihuahua uh -huh, that's, that's how wet. i feel like when my hair is wet so i'm gonna leave the towel on until i finish my makeup because we're gonna transform that's for sure and yeah. you guys are gonna see what we look like okay so next, I'm gonna prime it with the Flash Matte Perfecting Primer by NXN. We do have a code with them. And all the information on how you guys can get all of these products and the website link will be down below on the description. Also, our discount code. Okay, so I'm gonna start with brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and Soft Brow. And I'm gonna use a Morphe Brow Pomade. I usually use another shade. I usually use the shade Java, but today I'm using Chocolate Mousse. Hopefully it doesn't look like the wrong color because I lost the other one. Okay, so first things first. How do you think the party went overall? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Honestly, it was super fun because I was drunk the whole time. I got a little too wasted. It's so <laughs> embarrassing, literally. There was a lot of people that I met that I didn't even know I met until I saw pictures. I was like, oh, I met her. <laughs> I know the next morning you had uh -huh, pictures. Uh-huh, I saw pictures. I was like, I do not remember like taking a picture with her. So it's so crazy because from the beginning of us even planning the party and us getting our wigs installed, because as you guys can see, we got wigs installed. We had such bad luck. I know. Oh my god. Like I don't I had a strong feeling this was not going to end well. Like everything was just turning out so bad from the beginning to the point where I should have just canceled the party like right there and then. We wanted to look like Barbie dogs, but we ended up looking like white chicks. I don't know, I just looked like I was playing dress up or something because initially I wasn't supposed to go that blonde. It looked like a brownish wig and it had like blonde tips that's how i wanted my wig because i didn't want to go you know too light because i've never been that light so it was going to be a dramatic change for me so when i got there blah blah, blah she installed elsie's wig first and when i saw her wig it, it looked, looked it nothing looked yeah. it like looked it 
because she sent her a wig like a picture of a wig with blonde roots it was just all blonde but it was like an ashy blonde wig and then the one she gave her had super dark roots it, w it looked nothing like the like reference picture yeah because i wanted to be like a like an all blonde like that was my goal but i ended up being like dark root like a dark root and then like even my hairstylist had to come fix our wigs for us it was just very unfortunate like i don't know even a lingerie were talking we were like what did we do like i, I know but we were like what's our karma why is everything yeah. going wrong and then when i saw my wig it was like it looked like a black wig and then the tips were like orangey and I think she was gonna like tone it, but she started toning it and the hair like fell off. Oh I don't know if she bleached it. I think she bleached it, right? I think she bleached it and then she toned it and it was legit like shredding it off. It was coming off, so I was like, oh my god, my hair is already braided. I have like the wig cap on, like it was glued on already. So I was like, shit, like what am I gonna do? Like, And it was the day before the party. Yeah. Oh my god. We were there from like well five. We ended up leaving like almost at three. We got home like almost in the at morning. Four. We were there it's like two in the morning. Like we were just trying to come up with like solutions. Yeah, so the wig like it went to the trash because like she messed it up. And then she pulled out like a super blonde wig. We're gonna be as raw as we can with you guys and we feel bad because I don't know, like we don't wanna I guess ruin business for people, but we're just telling you guys what happened. Like this is just exactly what happened. We can't sugarcoat anything. We can't be like we fucking love the wigs when we when we didn't like. I fucking hated my wig, but we felt so bad for the girl because she was yeah. having a really bad day, and we're like very understanding. We're not gonna be like, oh no, like just take off the braids. Like, and we were being so nice, and we were joking yeah, we around were, with her. We were like, you know what, it's okay. Like let's try to fix whatever we yeah, can we were like let's just like try to find a solution so we stayed it was super late at night and then she had run out of toner oh, for the yeah. second wig so she had to go like to cvs or something to buy toner and it was like already two in the morning it was at this super point. late yeah at this point it was so late already and you know like we gave her the chance she went to go tone it and i really hated my wig but i mean it was already on so i mean i wasn't gonna her take it off like I felt bad we tried to be very understanding but because i thought that with makeup on the wig would have looked better and keep in mind this is the day before the party mm -hmm. so i thought that if i put makeup on the wig was gonna look better but it didn't it just looks so off like blonde blonde doesn't go with me because it didn't have dark roots and then her hairstylist had to come fix it she like spray painted the the roots darker so it could look better and it did end up looking better than the original wig mm -hmm. but i don't know the wig just looked very it synthetic. just looked very fake like it just looked like uh-huh it looked like a halloween wig or something and we paid a lot of money for it yeah she never gave up with trying to fix the wig i know but, like it still turned out to be like very like it didn't look good yeah so then the day of Elsie's party, um, we didn't even have an outfit yet. Oh my god. I know because I ordered a dress from a website and then I had to email them so she's like, where the hell is my dress? And then they oh like when I emailed them, they told me, Oh yeah, the dress you wanted was sold out. So I was like Until you emailed them, they told you after they took your money and shit. Yeah, and then they were just like, Oh, um, like your dress is on the way and uh, we promise you that it'll get there before Saturday. It literally got here, I think the monday following oh my god so we had to go buy our outfits the same day of the party and it was horrible because we didn't even have time to like try on the dresses well i didn't have time to try on my dresses oh, right so we were just buying random dresses and oh yeah we, we bought like four or five so i was just hoping for one of the dresses to fit me and to look good and then yeah so it was literally like a we could have had like a hit or miss but we risked it because it was the same day of the party mm -hmm. and then that day when i did my makeup i still hated the wig it looks so ugly and i tried parting it to the side to the middle i was doing all kinds of things to like make myself like it because i didn't want to be selfish and ruin elsie's party and be like oh i'm not gonna go out there because i don't like my wig and it was too late to like take off the braids and like take off the wig the wig was glued on so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna suck it up for her birthday. I'm just gonna, you know, try to be happy. And 
yeah Maribel tried her best to fix it and it did look better Oh, and then for my outfit, I hated my oh, freaking outfit. So the dresses that Alondra bought, and she hated all of them. All the dresses that we bought. But um, Amanda ended up bringing like three or four I outfits. I know, she came in clutch. God, I know. And then she just let me borrow one of her dresses. I was like, you know what, fuck it. It's my last option. All the uh, other dresses don't fit me. And the other dresses, like, I didn't like. Yeah, the morning of the party, like, I had already had three dresses, but and then right before we were gonna leave, we found a store, that random store. What random store? Where I got my dress. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Oh, yeah, because we were supposed to um, have matching dresses. She was oh, gonna yeah. wear a pink one, and I was gonna wear, like, a copper one. But those dresses ended up looking so boo-boo. They just didn't. I ended up changing into it, though. Oh, you did? Yes. It looked good on you. On mine, it made me look like super squared, which is why I didn't like it. Yeah, and then I legit found my birthday dress, the one that I wore right before like leaving to the house. So I don't know. Everything was just so last minute. Yeah, and then to top it off, like I wasn't able to make it to my dentist appointment the day before oh, to know. get my permanent veneers. So I was re really worried that my temporary veneers were gonna break off. And that was the day so of the party. Dead. Her sister slammed her face into the cake and she was wearing her temporaries. I was so scared that they were gonna break. I was like, oh shit, like. I know. Luckily they didn't. I know the cake was so hard. I don't know how they didn't break. <laughs> you were just on the cake, like. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the party. So everything was going good. You know, the DJ got there. The bartenders got there, the securities got there, everything was going perfectly fine. Yeah, I think everything was going fine until, like, I think I started getting upset until I kept having to go outside to go pick up people because apparently the list was not accurate. Like, I don't know what was going on with that, but I probably, people kept texting me saying, hey, I'm outside, but I'm on, on the list when they were on the list i don't know i don't know what happened to that so i apologize to those who ended up not being on the list for god knows what reason and then before i continue talking people are like i feel like we're gonna like everybody that we're talking about in this video they're gonna hate us even more so i'm so sorry <laughs> like i don't know you're sorry <laughs> i feel bad but it's like fuck i'm still so upset how everything went down i don't know but yeah, so everything was going good, party, blah, blah, blah. I had, you know, whatever. And I wasn't even drinking. Like, for some reason, like, I don't know why. Like, the entire party, like, I would drink and I would get, like, a little tipsy and something would sober me up. I was making sure that everybody was having fun. So, like, I was seeing how the party was flowing, how it was going, and I was just, like... You look so stressed out. And Amanda and I were trying to, like, make her get drunk. We were like, let's go give her a shot. Because she was just stressing about, like, everything. And she was making sure that, yeah, like, everyone was having fun. And then she would just look at everything that would go wrong. And you shouldn't have, like, worried. I feel like that was the um, party planner's job, to, like, worry about everything. And yeah. Elsie was worrying about everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> Elsie was worrying about every little thing and it looked like she wasn't having fun and we felt bad because you know it's her birthday we wanted her to have fun yeah yeah it was I wanted to have fun like oh you know what like there was times where I was just like okay like calm down go have fun you know go take a shot out do whatever but and then something else would like something else would happen I would be like oh my god like what's wrong now uh huh like, yeah the party was going it was going good blah 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 the stripper came, everything was still going smooth. After the stripper, I think is when everything was like to shit. I feel like everybody was already drunk. People. Let me just tell you guys one thing. It's crazy how alcohol can really take a toll on people. I feel like alcohol had a huge part of why this whole party went to shit. But it's like, I mean, I guess it's what we... I guess what we had coming because it was a party and then of course there was gonna be alcohol um i think what i was mainly mainly upset was there was like a i had no idea any of this was happening i don't even know where i was when like they were like arguing oh i know some girls got into like some arguments and i didn't know about any of this i didn't until, know about like, any of this either until like a few days ago I found out like what went down because I was having the time of my life. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't. I have no idea where I was. I just remember me like. I didn't even say bye to anybody. I just remember me going upstairs and just crying. I was stuck in the closet. Amanda and I would go up to like make sure she was okay and she was just like super upset. I was just super upset because um, the party ended a lot earlier than what we expected because the party coordinators couldn't handle the fucking party. Yeah, they just couldn't handle the pressure and they like... I, I got so upset. I just got so upset because it's like there was so much money spent on this party and then there was six security so I was just so confused on why I paid the goddamn securities. I know they were just standing around doing nothing. They... Yeah. It's like there was no point in them being there. There was no point. Like I don't... I'm not saying they did a bad job because no, I feel like they did everything they could but it's like... I just don't understand why the party ended the way it did when it could have been easily solved. I think that was my main issue. Like, I overseen the party and everything could have been easily solved. Like, everybody, like, apparently there was people inside the house puking. I feel like the securities should have let them out. They should have got, gotten kicked out. Apparently there was a fight going on in the back. I didn't even know about that. I, yeah, I honestly did not even know about any of this until then, like, the morning after. The security stood up to kick it out that girl who was making that big old chaos. Oh, and then another thing that was so stressing, the cops had already came to give us a warning at 9 something. That was so early. It was like, like 9 40 something and I was so upset because I got told that um, they spoke with, not the cops, people who planned it spoke with the neighbors already and the neighbors come you know the neighbors were fine that there was going to be a party but and then when i asked and i was just like oh but like i thought the, the neighbors knew already that we were going to have this and they were like no they don't so i was just like what like it was just so unorganized it was just so stupid and so annoying and then we had to bring the dj inside the house oh i know because it was like too loud since the cops kept on coming we just moved the party like into the house and that was not like the original plan the original plan was to have everybody like outside because the house was rented so like if someone were to break anything like we would have to pay for it so we were just making sure that like you know no one was in the house but us yeah so that was really annoying and then it's like um one of the guys told me oh well, like did you not get a permit for having a party and i was just like like i don't throw events i don't throw parties i didn't know that we were supposed to do that i feel like the people who coordinated everything should have done all that but i don't i'm just i don't know it was just such a mess another thing that kind of bothered me is that my sister one of my sisters she got disrespected and that's something that would not fly with me like and i didn't even know about this until the day like a couple days after actually um one of my really close friends she she got called a bitch for god knows what fucking reason like it was just so embarrassing and then some influencers like oh my god they got disrespected by people close to us and it's, it was just a huge embarrassment like i woke up the next morning feeling like dude like i feel so embarrassed like i don't even want to get on social media to like i feel like i need to apologize to those who came uh, i didn't know about a lot of things that I, went on but after like she told me i felt so bad i was like shit like a lot of shit went down yeah because i feel like i was so sober to the point where i seen kind of everything happen so i was just like fuck like this is not going good like and i was just so upset because it said there was so much money spent on that like if i knew the party was going to turn on like that i i should have had my party at fucking chuck e cheese and i would have been so happy <laughs> and i would have been like perfectly fine like, like there was just so much drama behind the scenes that a lot of people did oh, not see i know there's a lot of shit that like we can't talk about i think that we are no longer talking we no longer are friends with what well, i want to see three to four people yeah and it sucks so bad because it's crazy what like i don't know it's crazy what alcohol makes you do a lot of people's masks came off that night let me yeah. tell you and then like another thing that we that happened is that we had we had a really close friend that w disrespected another one of our friends relationship and that just does not fly with us like i just feel like that was just so disrespectful yeah. and i don't know and then this person wasn't even drunk, which makes it worse. I know, like, she was sober, so it makes it... She was it, sober. <laughs> those were her, like, true intentions, so... Which makes it even worse, which is kind of crazy. Like, what did we do to deserve it? <laughs> I know, because if you're drunk, like, we understand, like... Alcohol is not, like, an excuse. We get it, but... You know, at least... 
you weren't sober when you're sober you know what the heck you're doing i'm so sad that like so much shit happened i know i'm just so sad because a lot of friendships relationships were lost i wish i could have saved that without throwing the party but it's like i guess we just didn't know what we had coming and things happen for a reason yeah. it, it's kind of crazy because it did seem like a lot of people had fun and don't get me wrong everybody did have fun everybody um looked like they enjoyed the night everybody got drunk so i'm so happy they did like i'm really happy you guys had fun to me we ever went even the giveaway winners were there they had fun i seen videos i'm actually wearing one of the giveaway winners present oh that's cute it's so cute um and then i got to see some influencers so not everything went to share like, i guess like the good parts were like i i got to meet some influencers i know we in met person. the Murillo twins they're so freaking oh, yeah. gorgeous yeah we met those baddies that night and then it looked like everybody had fun we got to take pictures with a lot of people um people you know they were getting ratchet they were getting but um the only reason why we're mentioning this because this is this is everything that happened behind the scenes and from what i seen so not the entire party was a good party like for everybody but for people who got to see the behind the scenes it's when oh god it was just insane and then there was just like huge like inside the house with like people wanting to fight other people oh i know i think someone got kicked out for like fighting someone. yeah they got kicked out for fighting someone me amanda and Brittany got so wasted <laughs> we were taking shots after shots and oh yeah and Brittany did my makeup for the night oh i know she did her makeup was so good her makeup looks so beautiful i know i feel like a whole new person especially with that I know fucking wig she made it look different because her like technique is different but i i know yeah i strongly believe that i feel like oh, everybody did have fun it was just a lot of drama that happened i know we things. did lose like friendships a lot of friendships were oh, lost yeah, but sure. we feel like everything happens for a reason maybe they weren't meant to be in our lives so yeah we rather it like happen sooner than later you know yeah and i spoke to like my mom because yeah. i mean i was trying to see if i was acting crazy like Am I a bad person for doing this or that? But it's like, I mean, we're definitely not the bad guys in this situation. Mm -hmm. And then, like, to top it off, like, you know what? I don't want this video to be like a big old negative, like, thing. Cause that's the last thing we want to spread right now. But just know that, like, if you have a friend who thinks it's okay to flirt with your boyfriend, she's not your friend, so you, you should just cut that off. That's canceled. No matter how close you guys are with them, like, that it's not acceptable if you have a friend who's going to disrespect other close friends that you have and your own family like that's cancelled i don't know i know i feel right. like we learned a lot from this whole situation that's just not right we've been feeling so bad this whole time but it's like but why do we feel like that no i feel like we're not in the wrong with anything no yeah i don't know i definitely don't think we are but it's like damn that's crazy so we just you know what we're just gonna say this if you guys don't see us with certain people anymore you know why <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna be petty with anyone i'm just you know gonna cut them off and stuff yeah it is what it is like fuck your friends come and go this is why we keep our small circle i know literally the only person i talk to is elsie because i'm very picky with who i like associate myself with i'm like there's some like there's like type of people that like throw little hate comments here and there and then like i don't know they and think, still try to be your friend yeah you? it's so weird and those type of people like i don't like being around with if i see some shit like that like i'll cut you off i don't care and like another thing that really bugged us is like if you're gonna like try to get us to spill tea from other influencers stop being a fucking cheese mama so like that's just not right some people just like drama and they love hearing like cheese me and i don't know and, and i think the last thing that i'm gonna say negative and the last reason why i got so angry is that i got bailed for something that we fucking didn't do and then like they were trying to blame it on other people just by telling me something in the house got like broken and we didn't break it but we still got like built for we it still got like we got it. an invoice and we like showed proof that it wasn't us and we still like got invoiced yeah. but whatever like just to not stress anyone out and just not to stress elsie out like we just ended up paying for it we're like whatever yeah i don't know how yeah because i thought it was normal for like the, a fucking 
bathroom glass to be that much to fix but apparently when, my, when i told my mom my mom was like what the she fuck? was like it should only cost 100 or, or 300, 300 to fix it and it was a small gl like glass so i was like damn like scammed yeah i got scammed for a thousand dollars because and i connected the dots too because i was just like holy crap wait like wait a minute when our glass broken got shot at the old three old store it wasn't that expensive to fucking fix it and that shit was huge like i know it's a huge glass door and then the bathroom the bathroom glass door it was like a small fucking restaurant it was so small and then there was no one how that shit cost a thousand dollars and we got fucking fined for that so whatever you live and you learn yeah exactly like you live and you learn this happened for a reason but you know what i'm just glad everybody else had fun and i'm just i'm so glad that only i got to see all the shit that happened and not everybody else because it would have been such a bad time for everybody else but thank god that i was the one that stressed out versus other people versus my guests that sucks though it was your birthday i wish you would have had fun i know i to be honest i yeah i wish i would have had to but it makes me feel a lot better is that nobody else had to see all this and nobody everybody mm -hmm. else had fun mm -hmm. so everybody else did did get to enjoy the party there was no drama with like anybody else that i invited it seemed like everybody had fun everybody even other influencers got to meet other influencers which is kind of cool i know it was just a beauty guru party <laughs> yeah <laughs> It was a YouTube party. By the way, I'm gonna be turning 22 this November, and I don't know if I should throw a party or not. I actually don't throw parties for my birthday. I don't like celebrating my birthday. It just feels so awkward, so I just <laughs> don't do anything. But I don't know. I know her birthday is what a month away. Yeah, we're in October. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we want to do something for her, but she doesn't I like know, being around a lot of people. I don't want anything. I don't know. I, sometimes I don't like being around like a lot of people. I get like too overwhelmed. But you, you're going to be drunk. I know when I'm drunk, I don't care. So. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like um this time it won't be a disaster because we'll be planning it. I know, <laughs> and I feel like maybe I shouldn't get too drunk because for her party, oh my god. It was fun though, because you weren't sloppy was. drunk. You were just more like, oh, like I'm having fun drunk. Mm -hmm. It definitely was not like you were I know, because I wasn't falling or anything. Yeah. I was just like having the time of my life. Yeah, I mean, you were that fun drunk. It wasn't like that aggressive, angry drunk where you wanted to fight people. I know, like, I never wanted to fight. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bar? Oh my god, we should tell them that story. Oh my, that was so embarrassing. So we went to a bar in Downey, fucking blue ass Downey. Never uh -huh. going back there. Every, well, I don't think we're allowed there anymore. So I know, I think we're probably banned from that fucking bar. That was the last time we ever went, and they were so angry. So oh I know god. because what was it? We went with like it was with like it was, it like was guy two, two of your friends, yeah. And then we were sitting down in a booth, like in a bar, and then. One of the guys kept on sitting on top oh, of. Oh yeah. How was it? It was like on top of the actual seats where mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be sitting, and the security kept on telling him like you're not allowed to sit up there. He was like, get down, get down, mm -hmm. not allowed to sit up there. And like he was so drunk, he did not know what was going on. So. He did not listen. <laughs> he did not listen. So at one point. <laughs> he ended up getting what like fucking strangled yeah at one point the security got so fed up with him that he literally like got him like from the neck oh, like a headlock oh he headlock, had a headlock. Oh, okay. and i was just like you're like what's going on what the fuck and then like she stayed in with um a random guy that we met that night but a gay guy it was, uh -huh, guy. It was a gay guy he he was like so cool. he was yeah he was so fun he bought his drinks and everything and then I ended up going after my friend because like I was just like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Like, what the heck? And I didn't know, but I thought they just left me. I was like, they did not just leave. Me. <laughs> yeah. And I was so. Then I went like running after them. I was like, oh my god, you guys left me. I was so. I was like, you guys left me. You guys left me. <laughs> and then she was like, no, I, we didn't leave you. I just it was wondering what was going on. Like, like we we just got kicked out. Uh huh. Like I didn't know what was going on. Like they all got kicked out, but me, I was just like there. <laughs> We're wondering where everyone was at and shit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we were outside. I know we were outside, and I didn't know what was going on at that point. And I kept on asking the security, like, what's going on? If you don't tell me what's going on, like, I would be so mad. What the fuck is going on? 
I was just and we like, were drunk, so we were not in a good state of mind. I know, so I don't know. The securities were so rude. They were. They were looking at us like if we were fucking. Well, we were acting like crazy people. But I know we were drunk. <laughs> so I got so mad, and the security for some reason looked like he was high or something. And I was I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I was yelling at him. I know. I was like, why don't you tell me what's going on? I was like, you look so high. You're coked out. Your pupils are so dilated. I remember saying that, and his, his pupils did look dilated. He probably was on drugs. I was just so confused. And then people were in line waiting to get inside the bar. And oh, my oh there was like God. a bunch of girls that were just staring her. Mm -hmm. And I got so mad that they were staring. <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, I never get like this. I don't know why that night I got like that. I think all of us were just so angry. I know, because we got kicked out for like no reason. It was like the dumbest reason to get kicked out. Because we weren't too drunk or anything. Were we? I don't know. I don't think so. I that drunk. What am I So. Doing? We ended up getting like basically banned from the bar. Yeah, that, and that <laughs> bar used to be fun. I know that bar was super fun. And then the girls in line were staring at us, and I was like, "What the fuck are you looking at?" Yeah, Alondra was. Well, I remember I had came out, and then oh. Alondra was already yelling at them. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Whoever you are, whoever I yelled at, I'm so sorry. I'm not that person. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I was just so mad that Elsie and her friends left me. <laughs> I was trying to uh, make sure my friend don't die because I know. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's so funny. But, but I was just so confused. I was just like, oh, I know, but he's dying. Where's the laundry? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go after the one who's dying right now. Uh, <laughs> and oh my god, and it was so embarrassing because some girls that were in line, the ones that were staring, like knew us from Instagram, and then the, one of the girls DM me saying. What did she say? She was like, oh, I hope you're okay or like something like that something along those lines She was like, I hope you guys are okay And I was like, we oh, got cut. I know I was like, that's so embarrassing. That's I don't know. That's That's the only time something like that happened. I promise you guys was so embarrassing. I know, and then I was dealing with the security. I, I was too. I was like, I was acting like I was all big and bad. Yeah, like. me too. I got like freaking beer balls and shit. <laughs> fucking alcohol balls. I, I thought. Was just like, you I, uh, I know. <laughs> you were like, no. What did you say? You said something else. I was you know, like, I kept saying. I was just like, oh, oh yeah, you're gonna. gonna I know. I was just like, we're gonna come back. I'm like, bitch, with who? I know. Like, and just our dime <laughs> Like, I know, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna do anything, but I don't know. We were just so specific, we got out. I know, cause we were having so much fun. And this is our final look. We just finished doing our hair and then our makeup. This looks like what I always fucking do. Really? Yeah. Like, it looks a little different. Just a little bit. Now we just need to change, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you guys like this nonsense video <laughs> this i don't know video of us just ran it was just a rant yeah we wanted to vent to you guys you know yeah because we don't know who else to vent to i'm still angry and i'm, I'm, I'm still so mad <laughs> so i hope you guys like this video we're gonna show you guys our outfits last but before we leave we do have to announce the giveaway winner yeah. okay, so today's the winner is Jasmine Alvarez Congratulations Remember you only have 48 hours to claim your prize So make sure to DM me or ALC And we'll PayPal you your shmoney yes. But anyways Thank you guys so much for watching We'll be back with our regular videos Next week But yeah we have to hurry up and leave Because we are We're late like we're always really late. So we'll see you guys in our next video Bye 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 Ew! I did that too! I don't ever go like I know, me either. I, like, I, I even winked. I was like, She wanna break, go get it. She want this quick, she can get it. She want this little, go get it. Lose with the spike, she get it. Bitches love me, keep it honey. Bitches like you, cause you funny. Niggas ain't stunners. I'm the one that came and fucked the summer. I got a black bar.